Are you one of those people who thinks, oh, I'm overweight and I can't seem to lose weight? Well, I have a solution. Are you one of those people who basically thinks, I've got to ride a tractor around in order to pick up leaves? Are you one of those people that thinks, hey, I've got to bag my leaves up and have waste services pick it up and take it away from me because they are a nuisance, they're a bother? Well, guess what? I'm going to teach you that all these things can be solved, very simply. I mean, maybe you're one of those guys who spends hundreds of dollars every year putting down cedar wood chips or this or that as ground cover on your, on your garden. Well, I hope not. And if you are, then watch this video and let me show you what you should be doing instead. Leaves are amazing natural ground cover. You know, they're amazing. And raking leaves is a great anaerobic exercise for you to do. Now, if you have a garden, then just put the leaves on your garden. And they will break down into fine ground cover and stop things from growing up around it. You don't need to be throwing away your leaves, just like I, here I am, raking them up around. We're not going to, my dad's like, oh, I got to, you know, have my lawn guy rake up these leaves and put down more ground cover. This is ground cover, people. Dried leaves is a great natural ground cover. So if you've got trees, like we do, we got these beautiful trees that produce all these beautiful, great ground cover. And you may have pine trees, and this creates also great ground cover. Pine needles is a great ground cover that people all around America buy for ground cover. So ultimately, you can use it. You know, one of the things that I do is actually under this pile is actually a pile of leaves and I buried it with sand and then I've planted stuff around right you can see stuff around that's looking pretty good and if you look down in here you're gonna see stuff growing I don't know if you can see that right there right here right there look at all these things growing up here right here all this new growth coming up right and trapped under here is leaves that worms will break down and everything else that by the time they get down. I've also added some biwa trees. There's a little baby biwa right here. And I want these biwa trees to grow up and we're gonna create it like a, you know, and as they get bigger, I can replant them, I can do whatever, but I just put them here right now. There's another biwa tree right here. Here's another biwa tree right here. These little baby trees I just have in here. Another one right here. So I may just have this big biwa shrub around this tree here that I've severely cut back. This is how the Japanese cut their trees every year. <laughs> so I'm bringing a little Japanese culture. I, at first I used to think it's ugly, but you know what? You control them. And as long as they've got some green on it like I do, they should be fine. So Get outside, pick up a rake, put on some gloves, and start raking leaves. And don't take the leaves off your yard for, you know, here's an, you, know you, you can bury them. You can put them into compost heaps like I am. I've got other videos I talk about that. But ultimately, it's exercise, and do it every morning before you go to work. And just think of it as exercise. This is my exercise every morning. Um, and stop buying, you know, all this crap, because every, you know, every cedar compost bag you buy, buy is a tree that's being cut down for you. Stop it. If you've got trees, you've got leaves, use it. Please be sustainable. Be friendly. You know, permaculture is all about using what you have available to you. It's about keeping the organics on your property because you've got to think of it this way. This is energy. These leaves, these leaves is nutrients from your soil plus energy from the sun. And if you allow this stuff to break down, you can create great soil. And if, you, if you're curious on how to make it break down, then watch my other video on my hookah bed that I'm building, and I'll show you what I'm doing with it right now. I'm creating this big natural gutter, right? And ultimately, I'm just gonna keep adding leaves, standing on them. After it rains, I will flip this over to trap the, trap the moisture and to speed up the decomposition. 
I'm going to plant um, on here I'm going to actually plant what's it called clover clover is lagoon right and ultimately a lagoon not the not the not the river will actually put nitrogen into the into the soil right? two types of lagoon this one's spelled U-N-E not O-O-N-E my father was like I know what lagoon is <laughs> it's a it's a like a bay or whatever you know where a river creates a lagoon so this here I'm creating a way to break down and create soil here and ultimately that is going to become a bed or something something else I've done here since I'm here this is actually branches of a citrus tree that I'm gonna see if I can grow and I want them there because the water will come in here when it rains and gets plenty of water for them and by having the plastic wrapped around them or through them they'll help trap the moisture and the humidity in there I don't know if they're gonna take but you know I'm all about trying you never know so this is what you can do thanks for watching and get out there before work after work think of it as exercise get off those silly tractors unless you have a massive massive yard you shouldn't have be on one of those silly tractors I have all these guys around my neighborhood are on them and it's just ridiculous it's kind of like oh you know Paul has it so I've got to get it it's like follow the neighbor so I'm hoping that as people see me out there working and stuff like that we'll have more people out there with their rakes and doing it the old-fashioned way and improving our lives because obesity is out of control and all we need to do is become more active less sitting on tractors less sitting around and more activity that's the solution if you like this video I have over a thousand more videos just like it and I encourage you to go to foundups.com and become a stakeholder of foundups foundups are ideas for helping to save our planet I do my own kind of found ups permaculture, which is my own style of permaculture in the moment, design as you go, not to worry about the overall design, but actually worrying about the important parts of the design and let the design design itself. So um, you can learn more at foundups.com. Click on our FAQ about found ups, click on join found ups, become a stakeholder, and help us save the world together because only you and I are going to save our planet. Not presidents, not corporations, not institutions, not nonprofits, not NGOs. It's you and me. And the sooner you think about that and you realize that, the sooner you'll start launching FoundUps yourself. Because FoundUps, in my opinion, is the only way we're going to save our planet. And the sooner we start all launching FoundUps and getting involved in FoundUps, the sooner we can start saving it. It's that simple.